Okay, the first one is a 17 HMR. It shoots um, 17 caliber bullets at about 2,550 to 3,000 feet per second. Then I got some 22s. There's a Remington uh, semi automatic 10 shot magazine. There's a Ruger 10 22, the most popular 22 right now. 10 shot magazine. It's a semi-automatic, and I don't remember what, this is Leanne's right here. That's a Mossberg 22 semi-automatic, 10-shot magazine. The 17, uh, the first one I showed you, has a 5-shot magazine. Um, and right here is a Savage 22 with a 10-shot magazine. There's a Daisy. I was supposed to have a 10-shot magazine, but I lost it. Daisy made uh, two 22s for two years. They didn't legally have federal approval to make any 22 uh, uh, rifles. They got fined by the, uh, by the federal government and they had to stop making them. I can't buy any more magazines for it. Someday I'll get one made, maybe. This is uh, my most used rifle. This is a 223 CBA single shot. I killed all the pigs with this one except for with my pellet rifle. Um, this is a 223 Savage with a five, four shot magazine, um, bolt action. Uh, it's really new. It's my newest rifle. Here's a 243 Marlin. Um, that's the same shell as a 308 but it's neck down to be a 243 is extremely accurate um, this is a um, 450 Bushmaster it's my second newest gun uh, this is a, I think this is a Rossi let's see I'm gonna turn it over anyways this is Leanne's right here This is a 410. This is a Rossi 410. Um, and it's a single shot. That's a really long rifle, too, so it's got a lot of accuracy. She's taking that on the trip. This is a um, CVA single shot uh, 410. That's mine. Um, this is a really old bolt action 20 gauge Sears uh, shotgun has a two shot magazine one in the chamber and Leanne and I both have this rifle this one's mine uh, this is a um, H&R um, 20 gauge uh, pump action it's a clone of the Remington 870 which is the number one selling shotgun in the world um, in 12 gauge. This is 20 gauge. And um, they were bringing that this weekend too. So there you have it. There's some rifles. I'm not bringing them all. Uh, probably bring maybe four 22s, um, maybe a 17. And the 22 Magnum, the HMR, the WMR, the, the shotguns. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to bring a deer rifle or not. Uh, mainly the shotguns, 22s, and 17s this weekend. If you want me to bring any one of these, you can, in particular, other than the shotguns and the 22s, let me know. Um, the CVA 223 single shot, this three foot long one, um, I can hit uh, a bullseye at 180 yards with it. Um, I ha this one here is pretty good, this other 223, but uh, it's more fun to shoot the single shot than it is the one with the, the, the magazine. Um, the 243, I don't like the way it chambers the rounds. I hardly ever use it. Um, 
I did take a pig hunting, but I didn't shoot any pigs with it. I, I used my 223 single shot. It's a lot easier when you're, when I'm, when anybody is hunting and they're in the brush or carrying stuff a long distance to use a small gun. Um, this gun's three foot long. Um, so you can see it's right up to the top. It's not even, it's not even to my waist. Okay, so uh, I'll put it next to the door handle and show you how tall it is. Uh, and I'll set the other one next to it. So this almost goes up to about the door handle. All right. Now I'll put a, I'll put like a regular 22 next to it. Okay. So you can see uh, the height of that 223 is pretty small, and that uh, that's a 21 inch barrel on that 22. Um, the 223 shoots bullets at about close to uh, 2,600 to 3,000 feet per second. Depends when I'm shooting. So uh, a lot of energy there. So there you have it. That's the uh the guns.